During the 15th century, intellectuals of the humanist courts debated whether the inventive and descriptive powers of literature exceeded those of painting. At around the same time, a rebirth of classical antiquity was blossoming throughout what is now known as the Italian Peninsula. In the artistic world, this renaissance manifested as a re-emphasis on Greco-Roman naturalism, the renewed acceptance of the male nude form, and the development of new kinds of perspectival systems that created the illusion of depth for a pictorial plane. It is the Adoration of the Shepherds, as the title of the painting proclaims, and it stems from part of the biblical nativity story. The passage from Luke 2 verses 8 to 18 sets the scene. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field. Placed at the centre of the composition, we see the Virgin kneeling on the floor and praying to the Christ child. Christ is placed directly on the floor, showing us the conditions of the stable. There is no suitable place for his head to rest. But luckily for that sweet babe, we see the tail of Mary's cloak wrapped around the child's body. Andrea Mantegna (1431–1506) was an Italian painter and a student of Roman archaeology. Like other artists of the time, Mantegna experimented with perspective by lowering the horizon in order to create a sense of greater monumentality. His flinty, metallic landscapes and somewhat stony figures give evidence of a fundamentally sculptural approach to painting. He also led a workshop that was the leading producer of prints in Venice before 1500. Andrea seems to have been influenced by his old preceptor's strictures, although his later subjects, for example, those from the legend of Saint Christopher, combine his sculptural style with a greater sense of naturalism and vivacity.